Can you give your content editors a better administration experience in Drupal? Yes, you can. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. Thanks for joining me today. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, I want to show you not, it's not necessarily a new theme, but it's not a theme I see used very often, even though it's the third most popular theme if you go by number of installs. And it's the Gin Administration theme. And it has some really nice features for content editors. And in this third part of this ongoing series of improving the Drupal experience for content editors, I want to focus in on administration themes. All right, so if you've been around Drupal for a while, you know that there's some really great administration themes. They aren't always installed, and I think Drupal developers need to reconsider this. Now, Adminimal has been around forever. It's the number two Drupal 9 theme by installations. Jin is number three. Here's the project page. It's at drupal.org slash project slash Jin. It has a dark mode, which frankly, I don't like, but a lot of people do. Some of the things I really do like, though, is the save button is moved to the top when you're editing content and floats down as you're scrolling down the page. Little things like that just make life a whole lot easier for content editors. There's also additional modules that will give you a better toolbar experience, a nicer login experience. The dashboard isn't working yet, but the theme has been updated to support Layout Builder and even Gutenberg. These are additional modules, of course. So, well, let's take a quick peek. Obviously, I've already installed it. You install it the same way as any other project. And of course, Composer is the best way to do that. So here's what I was talking about. The save slash add content buttons. These big buttons are going to be up here at the top right. And everything has got a nice cleaner look to it, I think. Even if I click on the media manager, you're going to see a slightly different layout in the table and even in the grid view. And frankly, just a cleaner look in general. I like that. If I go to add content and I click on article, you'll see that the publish, preview, and save buttons are now at the top. Really, really handy. And they float as you scroll down and add content to the page. That's really, really nice. Other than that, it's just a much nicer look and feel. You'll note that it supports the administration toolbar, which is, again, really fantastic, as well as this administration sub toolbar. I'm not sure what to call it, but you can click easily to go back home, back to administration. The quick toolbar search, shortcuts, and admin are all here as well. Really, really handy. Let's take a quick peek at the settings for Jin. Of course, you've got the light, dark, or auto, depending on what you want. Dark is nice. It's just not my thing. I'll switch it over there. That's what it looks like. You can choose your accent color, your main focus color. You can increase the contrast if you need to. And you can also do sidebar vertical, horizontal, which is my preference, or the legacy classic Drupal toolbar. But you're really missing out if you go back to that, I think. I personally like this. Uh, I personally like this horizontal modern toolbar look. The secondary toolbar in the front end, that's that second level toolbar I showed you a moment ago. And then there's a couple of more settings. And of course, the typical pictures and posts and all of that kind of stuff. Heading over to Layout Builder, Structure, Content Types, Article, and Manage Display. So out of the box, preview is generally turned on. Regions are not, but the button is right there. So I can now see all of the regions for the various areas in the sections and blocks, which is quite nice. I'm not a fan of preview, but I do like the ability to quickly look and see where my blocks are going to go. If I click Add Block, once again, that additional module for Layout Builder in the Gin theme does a nice job of block layout and, of course, section layout as well. So it really is a pretty robust theme that has some really nice additions to it. So that's a quick look at the Gin theme and some of the add-ons like the Layout Builder and the additional toolbar. Of course, it does support Admin Toolbar, as I mentioned, and that whole dark mode thing, if that's your thing. And it works really well. 
it does give content editors just a little bit better experience in the back end, and I think it's worth a look. Well, thanks for joining me today. My name is Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. We release a new video every week. Hey, like, subscribe, you know. We'll see you next time.